Everybody left Farmer 73 here. You ain't gonna believe this. <clears throat> but I got another B call. And this B call is more different than any other B call I've ever answered. I will be doing my first ever trap out. A trap out means I have to trick or persuade the bees into getting out of their location and get in a box with me. Let's come up on our spot. We're coming up on it real soon and check it out and see what we got going on. Okay, we are here in Jenkinsville, South Carolina. And I just rolled up on, I just rolled up on the, the bees, the hive, I guess you can say. We're up under a, a cedar tree that look like it's about 200 years old. This is the giant cedar tree. You can clearly see how big that is. I couldn't wrap my arms around that tree, it's so big. But our little buddies are right down in the bottom crack of this tree, right down in here. I don't know what kind of cavity they got going on in there, like how hollow that is, but I'm gonna do my best to try to get them out of there. That almost looks like something down there, but they don't seem to be going down there. They seem to be going right in this crease right here. Right there is where they keep going. I'm just trying to see if I can see an entrance. If you wanna see how I made this trap out system right here on the tree, please go refer to my live video that I, I showed everything, me making it and putting on a tree and everything. It's, the link of it is gonna be in the description box below and in the first pinned comment. And I'm going to also put it at the very end of this video. So you can just click on it and go watch the live video. It's gonna answer a lot of questions for you. This video is just a little bit of the stuff that you didn't see. And I just figured something out. The bees keep going up top, right? And I said, you know what? I'm going to do a smoke test. So I smoked it, smoked it, smoked it real hard. And then I drilled two holes to see how high this goes. And here, as you see, they went in. Smoke came out here. Here, smoke came out here. Look, fanning, showing you where the queen is at. So I got to patch this back up. But this is the problem. This whole thing is the hive. I drilled in there and I could feel me hitting wax. So I'm not nowhere done. I got to patch these up real quick because what you saw the one fanning for the queen, let them know the queen is up here. They smell her. Look at more and more going up. Right. So I'm going to have to smoke that hole and get them down and out. Look at them fanning. Look at them fanning. Cause they know that's home so i gotta i gotta work fast i got smoke coming out at the bottom look smoke coming out at the bottom and bees coming out of the funnel see the smoke coming out down there bees running from the top to the bottom now that's what i want i'm trying to get mama out of there that's what i'm trying to do Look at that smoke coming out the top. Even the roaches need some air. When the roaches can't breathe, I'm doing a good job. It's smoking. It's hollow. 
all the way up to here. Look at that. It's a giant hollowed out tree full of bees. Shoot, this tree, if, it, if it's this hollowed out, this tree is dangerous. So now I'm trying to find her, the queen. I really got him on the run now. Look at the box. They're still not fanning. So the, I still don't got the queen, but they're roaring right here. I smoked them so strong. I made a slit here to let them out easier. They were coming out the cone, but they were packing up in my little jam I had right here. So I'm just gonna, I made a little relief valve for them to come out more and then I close it up tonight. Nurse bees are falling to the ground. So I'm even getting a lot of nurse bees. A lot, I watched a lot of nurse bees walk. There they go. Walking all over the ground. So that's awesome. They're fanning like crazy. So I'm hoping the queen is coming out next. They are fanning like crazy. Look, I think she's coming. I think mama is coming. So I'm gonna keep smoking them. And hopefully she'll come out. I'm smoking the, the very top pole. As high as I can reach. Look, they all just falling out. Show the box again. Bees flying around in the air. And this box is full of bees. No fanning still going on. They're in there roaring though. I'm hoping mama make her way out. Can y'all believe that? I was so busy. I was looking over this way when I was talking about the queen hoping she came out. And while I was looking over this way, cause I thought I saw another deer, she came out. My camera was pointing, good thing my camera was pointing at the perfect time. Family, let me tell you something. That moment was one in a million. The way my camera was pointing, the way my body was twisted, and it was the right time there is no way that you could ever predict when she was going to come out i just so happened to have grabbed the camera at the perfect time perfect angle even when i wasn't looking okay i'm leaving storm is coming but we got most of the that, that box i'm gonna need a bigger box that that box right there is full of bees totally jam-packed so i'm gonna bring a bigger box with me uh next time i come out I got all the bees out, I smoked them hard, and not too many bees came out anymore. And it's not a big roaring, thunderous roar inside of the tree anymore, because I think I got most of them out here. Yeah, most of them and the queen. Only thing is, I didn't see any fanning. I didn't see the queen. 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 So until I see her, um, or any signs of her, then I'm going to come back uh, several times to make sure this is finished. Okay. <laughs> Leah Farmer 73 here. I'm back on location day two <clears throat> of the church trap out. Bees are still coming out of the cone. None are going in. I'm checking all around to see if anybody has found another way into the tree so far nobody's going back in uh to the best of my knowledge and i have a feeling that they're all inside this box gorsh you think 
Hey, wait till y'all see this. When I left yesterday, they were all crammed on top of the box and on the inside of the box. So what I'm going to do now is I am literally going to do, I guess you can call a hive inspection. With no bees on the front of this box, what I'm seeing is, I think the queen came out. I think the queen came out. I think the queen came out. If the queen came out, she's in there and they're in there working. I, I think they're all in this box. So let's do a hive inspection. Here, I have a top feeder. So if all the bees are in this box, that means they have no resources whatsoever. So I'm gonna be treating this just like I would treat a swarm. This is late in the season, it's August. So I'm gonna start feeding them uh, sugar water to get them productive because all of their resources is inside of this tree. So let's get right into this. This is just my weather strap or just in case some bears or something is around here. Lightly, they don't need much. They're definitely in there and they are quiet. They're in here. seeing if they're putting anything in these cells because I know they were totally empty. Okay. And I know they had a lot of red pollen on them yesterday. I'm looking for the queen right now, you guys. That, that one is working inside. They're already festooning. They're working in here. I'm just keeping my eye out for the queen. That's a good sign. I think she might be on one of these frames right here. Come on, queen. Come on. They're too calm for the queen not to be in here. There she is, right there. There she is. There's the queen. We got the queen. You see her? Right there. Oh my God, where is she? I don't want to lose her. There she is. Here's the queen right here. Here's the queen right here. Here's the queen, you guys. Right here. Oh Lord, we got her. We got her. 
That's all we need to see. That's all we need to see. We're done. We're done. I knew they were too calm, too quiet. So I'm going to get some sugar in here right now and get them settled. Hallelujah. So, oh my God, I can't believe this is, oh, this is so awesome. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to get this feeder on here and get some sugar water in there and some honey be healthy. Oh man, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. I don't care how long you've been keeping bees. This is awesome. This is just sugar water and a little bit of honey bee healthy. Now I'm just going to put the lid back on. this back up really by right I could take this now because we have the queen oh hallelujah hallelujah mm, we got him we got him I knew it oh I reduced the entrance because I spilt a little sugar water on the ground and I guess some wild bees that's around in the area somewhere started coming around and they were fighting for a minute. So I reduced the entrance that way to, so they can defend this new hive. And uh, as you can see now, the queen is inside. They're fanning, letting everybody know the queen is in the box. Come over this way for everybody that's still hanging around and scooting around last ditch effort to come and find the queen so i had a friend of ours here on youtube in the greenhouse lounge one of the sobs asked what is fanning that's fanning right there that be dead center with her butt in the air no she is not twerking her butt is in the air and she is fanning the pheromones from the queen from inside the box. There are more bees inside the box fanning her pheromones down. And she is fer uh, fanning the pheromones outward in the surrounding area. So other bees that may be lost from this hive can find exactly where to come home to. So I'm just going to hammer these uh, wine corks in permanently. And there you go. The tree is gonna heal back and do the rest. That's it for now. Come back tonight, take our hive with us. Okay, I'm about to pack them up for the night. That's it. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this uh, filter material and I'm gonna put it in the rest of the hole that I left open for them. And that's gonna make it so they can't get in or out no way at all. That's it. Nobody in, nobody out. So I'm just going to pick this up and load it on the truck. I am going to leave this cone here for the rest of the week just in case. I'll remove this at the end of the week. Leave it there for another good seven days. 
come back and see how it's doing but it looks it's pretty dead anything that hatches out of there right now we'll deal that we'll deal with that when we can but right now it's a wrap all right let's get out of here got a long way to go good god Okay, we made it to Freedom Makers, it's the middle of the night, long drive, I'm tired, but I'm gonna get these bees off, and I'm gonna set them where they need to be, but I'm gonna release them in the morning. Cut this lighter. Set them where they're gonna be for good here. Right over here, this light should come on. There we go. So I'm gonna set them right next to the other hive that we got our Vivor. Scoot over a little bit. That should work right there. In the morning, I'll release them and get them squared away. I'll also check our other hive and see if they need any sugar water, get them set up. We did it, SOBs did it again. Our first trap out, our downtown swarm. Let me get this light back on. Oh. There we go, there we go. Our downtown swarm and our first trap out. We good to go. See y'all in the morning. Mm. <laughs> What's up you guys? It's tomorrow, so. I'm about to go out here and get these bees together, and get them set up. Well, I tell you what, I'll brush my teeth first. I might kill the bees after saving them. All right, you guys, we got them here. It's about seven in the morning. I want them in this spot, so I'm gonna put some stones down first. Then I'm gonna take this strap off. I guess I can start doing that now. All this moving. Man, they're screaming. Trying to line it up with the other high. I hope we even got sugar left in here after that rough ride. Check the sugar. It's probably all. I can't believe we got some left. That's it. They're about to come out and do their cleansing flight. Check where they are. So you're gonna see them swirling up in a big circle in the sky. They're calibrating themselves with the sun. 
Everything should be all good. That was a rough ride. When they're trapped and locked up like that so long, they wait and then they, like it's been raining a long time or something, they will not poop, they'll hold their poop and then they'll finally come out of the hive and do a cleansing flight, meaning they're pooping all over me. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show you what the poop looks like. This is it. It's like pollen and honey. That's poop, bee poop. All my chickens doing well. As you can see the bees in the air, They're going in circles. If we lucky, we might catch them making it rain, pooping. So this is gonna go on for about hour or so. They're gonna get themselves situated and then they're going to immediately start getting busy, going out foraging, finding what they need, figuring out their area. And they're gonna start building this hive out and they're gonna build it out fast. So that's it. Um, got another hive here at Freedom Acres. We got a church trap out. And we have uh, downtown Columbia, South Carolina bees. Life is good. So all we have to do now is wait about a week or so or maybe even two and then go and close that tree up permanently at the church and we'll be done. Now they're all doing the fan and letting them know that the queen is over here just in case they're in a new place and they can't find their way home. They're setting their GPS, but at the same time, they got to fan her pheromones out into the atmosphere so they can smell her and know where to come back home. 